this second video of our Touch OSC tutorial, we're going to talk a bit about connecting to the computer. Yeah, this is pretty important for a wireless device like the iPad. So in these videos, we're showing you this with Ableton Live, but it doesn't have to be that software. In fact, we're going to make another video using Traktor a little bit later, so be sure to check that out. But you can use it with any software that you want that accepts MIDI control change data. So here's what you'll need. A computer with a wireless connection, of course. An iPad, right? Touch OSC, its editor, and Osculator. Touch OSC sends OSC data from the iPad to Osculator, which then changes that data into MIDI CC data, something which most music software can understand pretty easily. Osculator has a minimum 1999 donation, which I think is worth it. The Touch OSC editor lets you make your own custom templates, which we'll get to in video 3. It's free software. For this video, you're going to use it to upload the template that we made. We've also made some simple templates to help you get started with all of this. You can download them here. If you haven't already downloaded them, pause the video and do it right now. To get Touch OSC and Osculator talking to each other, you have to set up a local network. On the Mac, do this by clicking on the Wi-Fi radar in the upper right hand corner and drag down to select Create Network. You can name the network anything you want. I recommend picking a name that you'll be cool with for a while because you won't want to keep changing it. On the iPad, go into your preferences and select Wi-Fi and click the network you just created once it shows up. Then close the preferences and open Touch OSC. Here you want to go to Network and then where it says Host, type in the name of your computer plus dot local. This name information can be found in the sharing menu in your system prefs. Where it says Port Outgoing, type 8000. And where it says Port Incoming, type 9000. Back on your computer, open up Osculator. In the main window, make sure the OSC input port is set to 8000. After a moment, a new section should show up in Touch OSC, Found Hosts, 1. This will have the name of your computer connection, along with 8000 and Osculator. This means that the two programs are talking to each other. Good job. Pat yourself on the back and have a Coke. Then, touch the back arrow in the upper left hand corner and you're ready to load a template. Now that you know that computers are talking to each other, it's time to load up the presets and then start having some fun. On the computer, open up the Touch OSC editor. Click Open and open the preset we made, Dubspot Touch OSC Tutorial Touch OSC. Your Touch OSC screen should look like this. Now, go back to the iPad and open up the layout screen. From there, touch Add and you'll be looking at a blank screen. On the computer, click Sync and watch the iPad. The name of your computer will pop up. Touch this name and the layout will be transferred from the computer to the iPad. After the transfer, touch the back button to go back to the main menu. You're almost ready. The last step is just open up the layout by touching the blue Done button in the upper right hand corner. At this point, you can close the Touch OSC editor. Now, in Osculator, Open the template file, Dubspot Touch OSC Tutorial. Make sure that lock input is selected. That's really, really important. Now when you press the buttons or move the faders on the iPad, the boxes on the left in Osculator will flash. This means it's working. Don't worry about what all the information on the right means. We'll get to that in the next video. Finally, to really get the party started, let's open up Ableton Live and test this stuff. Open up Live and go to the Preferences. In the MIDI ports area, there will be an input and output for Osculator. See how it's just like a hardware device? Make sure track and remote are turned on for both in and out. Open up the live file, Dubspot Touch OSC Tutorial. Now, push the start button on the iPad and check out the tunes. Feel free to play around with the faders to mix the track however you want. Be sure to have fun. In the third tutorial, we're going to show you how to make your own template. Check it out. 